The Flow Machine project is about designing and implementing the next generation of authoring tools, in particular for music composition and literary text writing. These tools intend to boost individual creativity by helping users create their own style. To explain the concept of flow machines, we need to start with psychology professor Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, who introduced the theory of flow, a state of grace between anxiety and boredom that takes place when performing a very absorbing task. Tom is in this state when he begins to create something. How can we help him stay there while he creates music and lyrics? What we know is that this state of mind is reached when there is a stable balance between challenges and skill, and that successful creators often report flow experience during their creative processes when they are completely absorbed by their activity, not noticing their surroundings or even time going by. But being a successful creator is not only a matter of skills and craftsmanship. Outstanding creators also develop their own unique style. This is how they are actually recognized. Of course, it takes years to forge one's own style, years during which creators explore their full potential to identify essential features of what eventually becomes their style. Once a style has been developed, it is often used to generate other and sometimes many other productions. Works of art are rarely unique. What is unique is the style that they embody. The aim of the Flow Machines project is to help users follow the paths of these great creators, imitating the style of others, exploring them, combining them, experimenting with various constraints until they forge their own style. To do this, we build authoring applications that enable users to manipulate and explore style explicitly, as if it was a tangible object. To realize this vision requires solving a key technical issue, modeling style as a computational object. We need a representation that captures style faithfully, but that is also flexible, so that users can mold it in any way and apply it to new situations. The representation we explore builds on our results with Markov constraints. We designed Markov constraints to combine the imitative capabilities of Markov chains with the power and flexibility of combinatorial optimization. You can feed or technically estimate a Markov matrix with the corpus of an author and calculate sequences of data imitating this corpus. But this technique cannot be used to control the structure of the generated content. This is an intrinsic limitation of Markov processes which are unable to capture anything structural. With flow machines, using a more complex technique, we can reformulate Markov processes as constraint satisfaction problems, allowing a great deal of control on the structural aspects of the produced content. This is what we call Markov constraints. With Markov constraints, one can literally apply a style object to arbitrary user constraints, representing arbitrary situations or configurations the user wants to explore. This technique works also with text. For instance, we processed all of Bob Dylan's lyrics and our system automatically rewrote the lyrics of Yesterday by the Beatles in his style. And in the style of the Beach Boys and Madonna and we can do it in any style, such as that of Tom himself. Thanks to this technique, flow machines help users to reach a creative flow. In this state of mind, they will be able to explore their creative potential and expand their skills into a new style. The Flow Machines project is just starting, so stay tuned! <laughs>